Hello, <clears throat> here we are again, um, and today is going to be the last uh, stream for this, this series. Um, so this is the end of making a DOS game. Um, so yeah, okay, so last day I did the last bits uh, in the engine and the gameplay, which it was there. Um, the keys and the doors. Oh no, I did a restart recently, so uh, yeah. Which is basically yeah. These doors, then you get the key, and the key opens all the doors of that type. The doors never disappear. Oh, the skeleton. Mr. Bones, yeah, and that's it. You know, it will add some kind of oh, let one some puzzle kind of gameplay. Yeah, I like the idea of the toss. I think they're going to to work nicely. Um, yeah, and that was the last bit, really. So I have implemented all the enemies. Um. Yeah, I mean, one small kind of single screen arcade platformer. That's what I wanted to implement. Now, I wanted to do it for the jam, but there is three days left because it's Monday, the last day. And actually. No, not really, it's Saturday, really. Because I'm not going to be at 5 in the morning <laughs> to beat the game. Um, yeah, and it doesn't look like I'm going to finish it. Um, because, uh, yeah, I explained the last day on, on Tuesday that I kind of had that um, unexpected. I mean, it was just me being silly and, and I did some tests with DOSBox and they were no good tests, so... When I tested it properly, it turns out that the game didn't work on a um, 386. So I spent time that I was planning to use for the music and level design. Uh, I spent that time just writing assembly and optimizing the game, the engine, uh, which is something that I explained in the previous episode. You go and watch it. Um, so yeah, I didn't have time to do the music. Or the level design. The joystick is kind of optional. It's not the end of the world if I didn't implement that now. And also it's very fiddly because it's not digital and yeah you need to do probably calibration or some smart coding so it's probably calibration. I, I don't do smart anymore. Um so yeah um is I don't have time to finish it. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do <clears throat> probably the intro um, and I'm not going to do the end game today, I think. Uh, although, you know, the game is open source and anyone can look at it. But I think I'm going. To, I'm not going to do it during the stream, just in case. So, you know, this could be. Could it count as a spoiler? Probably not. But yeah, in a way, it's a spoiler. So I don't want to spoil that. Um, so I'm going to do the intro today, and you know, it's a wrap. I'm going to wrap up this, and I'm not going to stream more about this game until the release, which is not going to be for the jam. Uh, I mean, we can look at some of the submissions very quickly. I think there is at least... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Baron Planet, I I got the game. It's not it's not a bad game. It's just that the controls are fun and a little bit tricky, but this is an expansion. Uh, and the other games... I don't even know they are for those. Yeah. You, this one requires those box. So this one looks nice. I, I haven't played any, to be honest. 
uh, this one this one works in EGA, EGA and BGA. So that this one looks nice as well. It's like a city builder kind of. So yeah, there are a few games. Uh, some of them for those, or maybe all of them. I I don't know. Haven't checked. Um, but it looks interesting. But yeah, I'm not going to submit the game to the jam. I'm sorry. Although it was original plan, but yeah, I usually it usually takes me like three four months to make a game like this, and condensing everything in a, it's been like a month and a half or less. No, I didn't have no time. Anyway, release time probably when it's finished, which is going to be. I assume that if things go well, yeah, because I can't finish this in three days. But maybe a couple of weeks for level design, a week for the music, week for testing, because actually I didn't think about, you know, I didn't include testing. It's a jam game, but I don't want, I don't, it really doesn't matter. So let's say that by the end of August, maybe mid-August, end of August, the game is going to be ready, ready to go. Um, and I'm still going to keep it small, like I'm not going to do more enemies. Um, I'm not completely sure if I'm going to add more, more tile sets, maybe, but it's a shame because if I add tile sets, like I may want to do more bits on the engine. <laughs> it's very tempting to make a bigger game, but I want, I want to keep it very small. So yeah, I might do a couple of tile sets, extra tile sets, just based on this one, more or less. So if I add, I don't know, 50 screens or 25 or 30, it doesn't feel too repetitive. Uh, but it's going to be a small game. Uh, I will make it a little bit difficult, though. So there is a little bit of challenge. But yeah, I, know. I mean, it's going to be just a, your classic platformer. I mean, I don't know. It's going to be difficult. Oh, see, I didn't think about that, but you hit with your head the snake on that platform. So this level is a test level design. It's a, it's a level for testing. This is not, oh, I, I wasted the big axe there. So it's not really, I mean, this was me testing things. Um, it's not really well designed, I think. Um, so yeah, I probably... It's not, you know, the difficulty of this one is not significant, but you know, anyway, I just lost two lives. Um, so the game is not going to be super difficult, but if you need to complete 25 or 30 screens in one go, uh, even if I give extra lives after a number of points, it's going to be difficult. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, let's do the intro um, that I haven't thought really how to do it. So one thing that it will be, it could be interesting is every time, you know, Ha have a small sequence between between screens uh, showing or kind of explaining new elements in the game like for example you know with a small corridor with some spikes in the middle and another text on top saying careful with the spikes and make the character run and jump over the spikes we could be adding that transition to the screen before the first level when we show the spikes. Uh, maybe? But I'm not sure, I don't know. Could be, it's not the idea I had for an arcade. So my idea is, so so basically this is the, the menu, which, you know, with an attract mode, super silly, you know, it could be, 
one arcade from 84 or something like that, right? And I was thinking, you press a space and instead of going here, coming here, I want to show a screen saying, go get the gold or, you know, go something like that. Get all the gold or something like that. And I'm going to do a corridor and I'm going to make the character run through it. Which is something we need to implement by hand because I don't have any functionality to do the scripting, right? Um, or we could be making the player do that. Mm, that's interesting. Mm, let's think about this. Will it be okay, like saying, you know, go get, go get that gold and leave the player on control at the beginning so it has to cross the screen, grab all the gold, and when it gets to the end, we transition to the first real stage. Oh, yes, let's do what I was planning to do. Um, so now that we have the all the map bits, we can do two things. Um, we can draw the tunnel ourselves. Or we can draw it here and use that map for the intro, right? For the intro. So we can do stage one as JSON, for example, um, as an intro, sorry, we call it intro, and then we are not going to have entities, I don't think, uh, will, that, will that work without entities? Let's give it a go, we don't even need the player, because it's not going to be the player who is playing. It's going to be us controlling this, right? And we are not going to have gold either because we're going to use a trick. Okay, let's see if we can, if it works. Uh, and if it doesn't, we can make some quick changes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw somehow on top of the screen, but it, no, okay, so we're going to, mm, Yeah, let's, we can add the gold. So we can draw the gold, then we remove the gold. So my, my idea is, I don't want, it's not going to be real. We're not going to pick up the gold or anything. So we can use the trick of not including the gold in the background. And when the player goes over it, the gold is going to disappear. It's good. So uh, let's do the thing I'm talking about. Not in the gold layer, please. So let's, let's make a tunnel. Could be something like this. And we can put it more or less in the middle. Um, I'm not completely sure. Not the minimap, please. I'm not completely sure if we handle properly. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to handle properly the the, the background. So I'm going to do something like this and we can paint this black and that will be it yeah because if we don't have tile i don't know what it's going to do the game probably it's going to work but i don't know um and we can just draw the doors i guess this 
and we can have some detail like oh, too many <laughs> so how many do we do uh, we can do every four I guess Oh no, because it has to be, oh, um, so let's leave every four, yeah, okay. It really doesn't matter too much what we do. Did I do it properly? Well, it's not quite. Did I miss one? Hey, Kate, how you doing, my friend? Yeah, let's do one more. I mean, I could be using just, you know, calculating to be exact number of spaces. But then numbers, how do they work and all that. So instead, I'm going to do like any good developer will do, which is, you know, just do it. Just like this. I mean, it's just we can add some extra holes. And my son was asking me when I started doing this, Papa, where are those holes? And I told him, Well, they just decoration. They don't do anything. There's anything in the holes. No, my son, there's nothing, it's just decoration. Uh, it's probably too long and it's going to be boring to see the player doing all this. Let's make it shorter. Again, not the right layer. Like much shorter. And probably center. So I, I left, I took out eight. So. So that is two, four, six, eight. Nothing like that. And then I need to fix the, this bit here because I just broke it can copy this part and like this and there's three right now right okay okay like this and like this yeah and it's not going to be yeah of course because it's even, right? Anyway, enough. I think this is going to be okay. And then we get the gold. Look at that. All gold. And we're going to put some gold here like this. There you go. So this is the intro. Is it actually eight? Yeah, it's eight. Yeah, eight on each side. Uh, is this okay? I don't think it, it is. I'm looking at the pattern on the back of the floor. Yeah, that's fine. This is going to be enough. So we say that then we need to add the data to the intro. Sorry, the, in, the data for the intro. And in here we're going to have a run intro or something. Which is where we're going to run the intro. So the intro happens 
on here, right? If I can type and okay, so we're going to do something like this. We're not going to draw the entities because there's not going to be entities. We're going to fake it. So we can say get all that gold. Very classic. I don't do numbers. Let's get how big is this? It's 18. It is 8 times. Well, let's do 4 because we're going to get half of it. And there is going to be 160 minus this, which is 88. I don't do numbers, my friend. I don't know any computer scientist that is good with numbers. Do you know anyone? Okay, it's, are you good with numbers? You can do it in C. Now, Python is the best calculator you can find. It's my scientific calculator. Oh, do you mean do the calculations? So, oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's a smart. See, I'm, I'm a software engineer, but not that smart. Um, so we touch the screen, then we draw that, we don't do this, then probably need to do something like this, uh, yeah, and we will need to reset the goal, let's say I'm just really good with math. Yeah, yeah, I do numbers, one, two, three, but yeah, calculations sometimes don't. Okay, um, let's take a look. No, that's not what we wanted, is it? Because this is not the map, it is binary intro start. That's the one. The telecom engineer. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the only. Hmm, what's going on? Binary interest star. Wait a minute. Oh, because we need. I, I know one computer scientist that is very good, but he has a degree in physics in Cambridge, I think it is. So that doesn't count. He's probably the smartest person I know. Um, so that doesn't come at all. Okay, where are the maps? Uh, no, yeah, it should include the maps. See? So why is not getting this one? Good make files. Yeah, they're really good. So binary interest start. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um, so, whoa, 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 yeah, intro, there you go. And then we are adding intro.o. So, it should be. It should be. You can do size of and should work, right? What? What do you mean? The compiler should do that. Oh, size of the string. Ah, yeah, I don't know. It's size of a function. I don't know. If it's a function, <laughs> if I can type, but it's been a long day. Oh no, it's, it's, you might be right. I thought that it was a function. See, I'm, I, I don't even know C anymore. Yeah. Why is not getting binary interest start? 
what I'm doing wrong. X dump X source into the O. Uh, no. No, that's not what I want. It's object dump. It's X or what? I don't remember. X. No. Binary. Oh! What? Why is inter? Because. No, I call it intro. Oh, that's probably a bug, isn't it? That's interesting. So. Um, in here, what's going on? What? What? Um. Oh, there's a bug. <laughs> what? I don't understand. Is intro dot JSON? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's a problem with the make pile. There's something funny going on here. Some funny business. So this is getting me maps has all the JSON maps. Dot JSON. Uh, and then we get whatever JSON and we do whatever dot all. Right, and then for each dot o, what? So we get two parameters here, isn't it? So file JSON and then the output, and the output ends in dot o. So I'm stripping the dot o and creating a temporary file. Yeah, we could be doing that. Yeah, certain then. Yeah, I, I got you. So why is this getting... No, it's doing it properly. There is something funny going on here. Because... Um, Uh, wait a minute. So it could be me creating a file with the wrong name. There you go. What? What? I'm confused. So it's going to be Intro the O. And we do this. What the hell? It's a regular expression. Are you kidding me? No. I'm confused. What the hell? No information available? You're not helping me. What's going on? Doesn't make sense. A strip on the right, dot O. And why is stripping this O as well? It's not a regex, it's a string. I mean, I'm trying to skip it. 
Hmm. I'm not sure. I mean, I've been doing like Python for uh, some time. I don't know. I mean, it could be something stupid. It removes all, it removes all the chars, not the exact string. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Okay. So. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I was looking at here already. But to not copy a string, try to remove this char is when a string is specifying the set of charter is the set. The thing we're looking is remove suffix. There you go, I've been com oh. I've been wrong all my life. There you go. Well, I've been I've been doing this wrong for millions of years, like, or maybe it's because I was I was doing the. Actually, you know what it is. Because I think, you know, this is something. For example, you're dealing with a path, right? And you want to be completely sure that your your path always has a a trailing slash right so you strip any and then add one right yeah for example yeah fine but let's say you are dealing with the strings because it's not a path or whatever um, I don't know I think I have seen that a few times and I was using it without misunderstanding how it works Oh, this is just the one I... So because using just one character. Yeah, if it's one character, it works. Exactly. Well, I'm glad we fixed this. Oh. Okay, um, let's commit that, shall we? Yeah, I'm not going to say anything in the commit log, but amazing. Uh, okay, so I closed everything by mistake. It's okay, let's go back. Okay. Okay, get that that goal. It's not bad, but it's not in the right place, isn't it? Um, so probably we're talking about 70 pixels or something like that. Ooh, that was pretty close. But no, it's more to be. It's going to be 65, I think. Get all that gold, yeah. And then, cool. Um, so not really. Um, so this is started the screen. And that's not what we want. We want. We want this. We don't want to render. We need to do this. Then we'll be seeing COVID all. 
we don't need this. Yeah, because we need we we can use the background. Basically. Yeah. Okay. So it's not dragging the the hood, is it? Because we don't actually need to do that. Do we want to do that? Um. Do we actually need to do that? Um, do we know everything we need to know at that point? Yes, we do. The only thing that is missing is these three things that we need to set them for the intro. We can try. We also need this. We also need this uh, every time we start a new stage. So I'm going to leave it. Um, and we need to say, yeah, who don't? Yeah, it's going to do it now. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so it shows the hood. Ready? And you go. But the thing that is missing is the sequence so the idea is that you press the space to play there is a music beep, 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 as the character crosses the screen grabbing all the gold and that's the intro man that's why do you need anything else i'm not completely sure of showing the clock on the top yeah it looks fine i mean to be honest with you we could be making this pause longer, right? So I don't need to start changing it back and forth. Yeah, it looks good. Get all that gold. And we need the player to walk across the screen, picking up that gold. Now, for that, this map render renders all the gold um, what I think we're going to do is is this and whatever and get uh, so it's gold anyway so it's and we're going to set the, the gold to zero and no it was zero what was the no it was this So we're going to get rid of the gold. Let's expose this somewhere. And so why are we doing this? We doing this. Because by doing this, the background doesn't have gold now after this, although we're still watching the screen. Um, what did I do wrong? Map clear gold. What? Map? <laughs> Today has been a long day. I can tell you that. Not a good one. Not a good one. Okay, so... There you go. So... Now we should... We see the same. But the background doesn't have the gold, right? 
So now when we move the player across the screen, as it crosses the screen, it's going to erase the gold. And that's it. And that's the effect. Um, now the question is... Could it be useful to actually use the player itself? Because it has the animation, right? So we only need the function to pass, to tell the player what to do, right? The problem with the player is that the player is the update, it takes into account the keyboard. And the keyboard, the driver is always updating the keyboard. So we can't use the existing update call because the player could be touching the keyboard and that would, that's, that's not good. So it really doesn't make a lot of use to include that. Perhaps one thing we could be doing is put the intro in a different file. Because I'm thinking that it's going to look... Uh, because we have the menu already in a new file here, right? So I think the intro has to be in its own file. So... So... Yeah, because I'm going to copy things from the player, like it's going to be quick and dirty. Um, and to be honest, yeah, whatever. It's fine. So what we're going to do, well, when, when this very likely, um, then it's not going to be static, because we need to access from the game. What are we going to need here? We're going to need BGA. Um, and we're probably going to need sound. Not now, but in the future. We need the text and the map as well. We also need the data. And that's it. And Oh. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Yeah, I didn't write that correctly. I'll be there in a minute. See, that would have been super useful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got you, I got you. See it. That's what I need some people on the chat, really, because they could tell, you know, yeah, and if. <laughs> Little typos today. Yeah, someone could have said, why are you doing R strip in there? Huh? And then I would say, hmm, what do you mean? And then you know, it will be fixed before we found there was a problem with it. But there was nobody, there was nobody in the chat that day. Uh, it's not an entity, but we can put it here. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, there. Oh, because no, I did say here. 
Did I delete it here? Yeah, there was a run intro, but it's not anymore. What is complaining about this one? So, binary intro start. Um, oh! So you remove those as the church up at the IP, API is with us. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay, so there's a problem here. Um, I can call the... I can't... Okay. Oh, man, I'm not even typing that properly. Okay. I can call it intro because there is an intro file now. Intro map. Super difficult finding names for things. Um, so, intro map, intro map. Yeah, because we can't call it intro if we're going to call the module intro, right? Okay, so there is a lot of things that are not available here. Damn it. I don't want to suppose that out of the game. No, I don't want. <sighs> yeah, it's not a good day today. Anyway, there's no intro module. We're going back to put it in the same place. And, and who cares? I think it's going to be all right. Uh, like here, what else? Oh man, back and forth. Yeah, it was not a good idea to move it. Yeah, it's a good idea, but it's it's not going to work. So we're not going to do it. We do this, we do this. And don't lose that one. So let's have intro, please. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. We are okay. I mean, it's not like we're doing a R strip or something wrong. It's, this is absolutely fine. So hopefully we went back. Oh no, binary interest start. Um... What's going on now? What's going on? Um, what did it do wrong? No, it's intro JSON. But I changed the name. I changed, okay, but I didn't change it here. All right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, okay, so we went back to where we were. Which is kind of... Oh, how long have I been wasting for this already? Okay, so we need the player frames, but we only need... Um, we only need half of this. Not even that, we need less than that. So... We can just get what we need. And it's going to be four frames. Okay, so now we need to do the... We probably want to copy the same uh, speed. So it looks like we're moving. It's one pixel. Fine. That's okay. And then the walk cycle, it is with the wall delay, which is eight. Fine. We're just going to put it here because it's going to be just for this bit. Um, so, no, because we can. We need to use a rect 
right? That's what we use when we throw the player. So it's going to be nice. And X is going to be it's going to be this style here, which is 10, 11. So 10, 11, 80. And it It's just interesting. All right. Wait. Not here. Yeah. <laughs> I have it. See, the worst thing about this is I I have that already. Um. Yeah, but it's okay. This is the, the intro. This is not part of the engine. I have it. Trust me. I mean, see, see, map tile. There you go. I mean, it's like your. No, you just look at the screen. There is delay. I mean, it's like you're jumping in the middle of the last season of Game of Thrones, and you're asking, you know, what's going on? Well, yes, I have it. <laughs> on the control, you're still right when I, you say the size of it. I think you're absolutely right. Okay, so while destination X is less than, and we're going to walk until here, which is 28. 28 times 8, 224. We're going to do the the animation really uh which is going to be just like this then might be sync um i'm thinking um uh, now we need to also do erase right do we? Yes, we need to. Um, which is basically the previous position. So, and it's not X. So basically, so we wait B sync. Then. We erase, we increase, and then we write in the new position. Ooh. And then it's inter frames, right? And the only thing we need to do now is copy the frying wall seal cycle cycle which is we need a delay as well so here we can do a delay plus plus while delay there is delay in the chat so i'm going to fix this before you say it Excellent. Delay is zero. And then we increase the frame. There you go. This is fun. Okay, so that is going to increase the frame. And I think. Uh, what is this brace doing here? Ah, uh, because. There you go. Okay, so we wait this thing with date, we increase, pim pam boom, this should be fine. And perhaps we can give a little bit of delay here. 
I don't know why I'm coughing. They wait some time with the void frames. Okay, is there something from... Uh... Okay, I just missed something in around here, which is semicolon. Still wrong. Ah, uh, world cycle frames. I mean, we know it's four, right? Man. You know, I could just write four and then put a comment saying, fix me, magic number. And then you never fix it, right? I mean, reality is a game. Just because I'm making it open source, I'm trying to be a little bit cleaner. But in general, games are, is the code is completely disposable. It has to work. It doesn't need to be written. I mean, I remember um, Terry Cavana. He released, he released the source code of B, 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 B. I don't know how many Vs it is. Do you know that uh, platformer? Okay, it gates? Um, it's B, 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 B. He released the, code, released the code, I think it was after 10 years of the game release. I mean, it's kind of... Uh... I mean, it's a num number of Vs. I don't know how many. It's a kind of a, a platformer. It's, it's very difficult. And, you know, it has a following of, like, because, yeah. I don't want to put one of these videos because I don't know what we're going to see, but, you know. So he released the code, released the code as open source. And you look at the source code and it's kind of, it's not great. But it's a great game, so I mean that's my point. Um, make it work. It doesn't need to be beautiful. It's disposable code. Yeah, not what I was expecting. Uh, uh, Know what I was expecting to be honest. Uh, yeah, it just works. And once you finish with the game, you know, the game is released. I mean, you may do ports and stuff, but yeah, you're right. Okay, so I'm doing something wrong and likely to be stupid, and I don't see why. So Oh, because it needs to be target the screen. I don't know my engine. I should, but I don't know how it works anymore. I had to make so many changes to make it perform that. But it's, it's not bad. It's not a bad engine. I like it. I think there are a few ideas here. Yeah. It's not good, is it? It's because... Yeah, we're not going to do the... I need to keep the goal. We need the goal, my friend. But it's okay because we can update the goal given the x and y oh this is going to be terrible <laughs> it's okay so it's okay it's okay it's going to be fine it's going to be all right so yes yes it's going to be great Yeah, I was thinking that at the beginning. It's good thinking. Actually, there are a few games I have seen doing that, and I like it. Um, it's not a bad idea, to be honest. 
Um, but it's fine. This may even make noise. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> no, it's not doing it. Because we need to reproduce the player moving. It's not a bad idea. That could be work. That could work. But the only thing I don't like is that it has to be out of the main stage main stage code because the transition of the screens and all that. Mm. So that's what I thought. Yeah, this is fine. So it's going to be X. So D is left. So X plus eight and destination plus 15. Yeah, because we need to check the feet of the player. No, the... it's not doing it, is it? Why not? I mean, we can't even... We can't even do the sound, right? And that's going to be the full experience. Um, but why is not working? Oh, because because of this. Because we're using the X and the Y, so. I mean, I'm just, I'm just a little bit ashamed because I'm streaming this, but in reality, it's fine. Um, so, we just erase the guy at the end. And we wait less time, and this is done. I mean, yeah. That's it. What do you think? Sound doesn't play. Where is the key? No. It's going to jump. That skeleton is going to jump. Ooh. Yeah, it's because the progression. It has the same. Uh, in this one. 50 instead of 32. Oh, my OCD cries. If you want me to, be, to use... 50 has to be 64, otherwise, never going to be happy. Yeah, you're right. It feels much better with that extra time. Yeah, I think this feels... What is your opinion? Does it feel like an arcade game from mid 80s, something like that? And I think the timing needs to be because I need to play as a tune here, right? So actually, you got a point with the pause. Well, this is just we're just testing the to see how it feels, right? But in reality, the music is going to start playing before the the character appears so we may need to wait a little bit longer right and it's fine i mean you play an arcade game yeah you know you enter your you put your quarter or whatever one player up you start the game 
short transition, you know, prepare, ready, go. So with the ready, we're going to play you some music. I mean, uh, I don't know if I show you this already for all the, uh, uh, for example, let's look at, did we look at pre rig here? I think we did. Let's look at the spectrum one. Just to make it different. So, um, okay, just shift. So, just to, to give you an, an idea of how it looks, let me. Should I stop the music? Yeah, let's just stop the music so we can pay attention. Give me a sec. I'll be back. All right, okay, no music now. So you have an idea of what I'm talking about. So this is uh, the same idea of single screen arcade platformer, right? So this is the game I released 20, 2021? Well, it's copyright saying it, yeah, 2021, right? So, so it's the same idea. So, I mean, it's a set of spectrum. It doesn't look like an arcade you're going to play in the actual arcade, right? Because of the colors, but the basic idea is the same. So, so space to start. See, you got the music and it starts the game. So we're doing, I'm going to do something like that. And well, this is a uh, kind of sort of like Google Google or something like that. You need to stand with your bricks, the enemies, and when all the enemies are gone, yeah, the jingle stays clear. Count music, press five. And this one has uh, passwords because. For two reasons. First is because it's 50 screens and it's kind of long. And and secondly, because balancing 50 screens is very difficult. So if I didn't balance the game properly by having the the passwords, I have excuse like people can use them, right? Although I don't think the game is too complicated I have seen people finishing you know without losing a life and things like that so and then it keeps going I mean this is stage three but that's the basic idea that's that's the ar arcade feel I like I think I did I have done that in, in several games because it works very well uh, so, for example, in the Amstrad, I think we look at Magica the other day, right? So let's look at... So this is the original idea of... of the rig. So the Spectrum game, is it was like a spin-off. Uh, sorry, brick R. It was a spin-off of this one. Did it put this one the other day? Don't remember. But anyway, it's the same, it's the same concept. Um, so it has an attract screen. The volume is a little bit lower than in the specky. So I'm going to define keys because I don't know which one. Okay. So it's kind of the same idea. I show you jingle and you know you start playing and it's the same thing I mean it's the same concept it's just a different 8-bit machine so it has more colors but the, the pixel ratio is different and you know because it's not one bit per pixel it kind of you need to move more than that see again you have a, a jingle when the stage is clear and the same so that's the plan in here um 
We don't have it, but I will write that music. So there is a jingle in here. And then beep 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 beep, beep and you stop playing. <laughs> Something like that. And then obviously there will be music as you're playing. Um, and that's basically it. Then when you complete the screen, there will be a different tune, uh, a different jingle. A short one again. I got hit there. Another thing I, we can do is when the time monster comes. Yeah, I'm going to make the music myself. That's why, you know, I I told the story at the beginning that I'm not going to submit the game to the to the jam because I don't have time to finish everything. And then there should be another music, another tune here with the game over. Right? And that's it. I might do a uh, mus some music for the menu uh because it works well with the with the attract mode and that's basically basically it that would be all the music oh thank you well i mean i draw the graphics and everything it's not super professional but my idea was trying to keep that um, so it's a DOS game, it works on a 3A6, DX, 33 uh, MHz, it probably works in a slower machine, I haven't tried really. Um, and, you know, it's just like, sim sim simple arcade game, like mid 80s, 84 maybe, something like that. I think the, the, the intro is done, this... It, it works. I I think it's what I was expecting. Get all that gold. And that's it. I don't think I'm going to put passwords. But I'm not going to put 50 screens. I don't think I have enough content. I mean, there's only... Um, we only have really four different enemies, right? Because it is Snakey, Batty, the old miner, and Mr. Bones. Because the, the time monster is not really an enemy. It only appears when you run out of the time. So there is no content really to make a lot of screens. Well, there is the the spikes kind of give you a, lot, a little bit of game. Uh, and the doors. It has a, a puzzle component that is going to be interesting as well. But I don't think there is content here. Uh, oh no, I don't. I just give them away for free. Yeah, I don't sell them. There you go. I'm going to do... There you go. So that's my website. And you can find all the games. They are free to download and play. I mean, I have a coffee, right? If someone wants to send me a coffee, I'm happy uh, to accept that. But... See, we've been looking at a few of these because I made, I don't know, I repeat myself a little bit, but I, what can I do? I'm, it's me making all the games, right? So this is the first one I made on this style, single, single arcade, uh, single skin, single arcade platformer. Then I made Night Night, that is a different idea. So the one that, that you're looking at now is kind of a clone of the concept of Night Night, but it but the, with different graphics and and instead of stepping on the tiles, you need to collect the gold. But it's the same game. It's the same game. And then I made these two, which are basically a refresh of this one with different type of enemies. And this one, the one for the specky, uh, Grape Jar Ship has more platforming components. Sometimes the screen is split in two, you need to jump out of the building with the risk that you can fall down and lose a life and then get again inside the building using one of the gaps. Uh, in... So it has more platforming, but... So, when I have a little bit more content, I will add a 
coming soon entry like this, like this one. Well, I mean, this is a release game, but I will make put a placeholder with some information about the release. But yeah, it would be free download. You know, donations, coffee, that's fine. I'm, I I like that when that happens. It's just because I appreciate that someone made the effort of sending me three pounds or whatever is what I have said in in it's not for the money really it's pretty much pizza money if you get to a pizza with that but there you go cool well I'm going to come with this it looks it looks exactly what I wanted um yeah see we don't have anything else to do really um the end game i'm not going to do it on a stream because it kind of comes a little bit like a spoiler how i'm going to make the music uh yeah let's talk about that because it's kind of early and i have finished let me commit this first so we have so what i'm going to do is I'm going to use this software that is called Schism Tracker. I'm going to stop the music again because we might listen to some stuff. You see, there you go. This is the one I'm going to use. Oh no, it goes full screen. Um, let me see if I can fix this. Uh, how do I do that? This is one of those user interface. Yeah, I mean, it's going to look like this, a little bit like small and crap. <laughs> anyway, this is one of those pieces of software that has a user interface that it makes you feel like you're completely stupid all the time, uh, which is kind of remarkable, really. Um, so this is what I'm going to use, and I will generate an in, an 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 how is it for uh, yeah input tracker file. Actually, let me because I have I have used this in the past and I like it, although it's very difficult to use again. But so I made a silly puzzle game in. This is the one. Okay. And it has the music here. So this is the music I... I now, how do I play it? I don't remember anything. <laughs> play the menu. Yeah, there you go. Um, how do I show the patterns, by the way? View patterns, but it's not following the patterns as in place. I have no idea. I thought it was going to show the patterns, but it's not. Anyway, so this is what I'm going to use. I have all the plan being already set up in the engine. Uh, so I can use one single song. Yeah, it's very likely to be like that. So this one, I think, is cloning, is cloning uh, the in input tracker. But it was a DOS tracker. I don't know Milky Tracker. It may be. S there are a few that are very similar. So Scream Tracker it was another that was very popular in DOS, and some of them cloned that. Anyway, so the person doing this. I think it was. She also released a, a set of free samples public domain, and that's how the samples I'm using in this song. I don't know if this in the instruments play well with the idea, but yeah, it should be fine. Anyway, this is what I'm going to use. I mean, we can do. We can do a quick test, I guess. Okay, let's break something. Uh, 
Um, this should work. Right? Why not? It should work. It's going to be funny, but... It works. There you go, it works. I mean, the music is terrible. It doesn't fit the game at all. Uh, and the volume is not quite right either. Yeah, but it works. So that is done. Oh, come on. Oh, I thought it was not going to jump, and then it jumped when I was in the wrong place. There you go. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to to basically um, load everything in one song because I'm going to, I like using the same instruments uh, throughout the, the game. So it sounds consistent and the volume, since everything is easier, you use the same instruments. So, because, um, so I made an interface where you can change the pattern. So I can jump to different patterns. So by default now it's playing a pattern that is silence. So there is no music, but it's already playing music. It's just that it's silent. Um, and it's just adding, you know, from pattern number 16 or 64 is the intro music and, and so forth. It, it would be fine. So, yeah, I mean, this is a wrap. <sighs> This is the 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 end of the series of making a DOS game. Yeah, because the things that are left, I'm not going to do with them on the on the stream. So yeah, it's going to be finish and release. Um, yeah, I mean it's been fun. I don't know how many how many chapters. Uh, I mean, I have, I have a playlist in YouTube, actually, no, let's do it properly. Let's go to, I have a page here where I have everything linked. Uh, see, I have my coffee link here. I don't get too many coffees, but okay. So how many chapters has been this? How many videos? It's been a long time, actually, because it's been a month and a half. Oh, YouTube is so slow. I don't know why. 60 videos, and this one is going to be 61. Which is going to be, you know, it's one hour and a half or... Some are two hours. So it's been quite a lot. Oh, no, 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 that's the coding session. Sorry, I was absolutely wrong. It's not 60 videos. That's crazy. Um, how do I see my playlist? See here, go to your channel. Uh, okay, make a dust game. That's the one. It's not 60 videos, no, it's 19. So, with this one, it's going to be 20. There you go, very nice number 20 videos. It's still plenty of time, really. Um, and it's been very, very difficult because again, I can make a game like this. And it usually takes me, I mean, it's always my free time, right? When I have it. So it takes me like three, four months. And I've, I have done everything in a month and a half, less than a month and a half. I haven't done the level design and the music, but everything else is done. Um, so yeah, it's been a little bit intense. So yeah. So making a DOS game, uh, the series is, is done. Um, so this is the playlist. If there is any video that someone wants to watch. It was not meant to be a tutorial or anything like that. And I spent a little bit of too much time with some bits, like with the timer, <laughs> back and forth. 
but you know considering that i was not planning things and it was just doing because I, I i see you know some people plan things in advance and then you do it twice like you plan you do it and then you do it on the stream i've been doing it from scratch really so sometimes things don't go as planned and you know you don't get anything done in in one hour or like when i was trying to add the sound starting with the audio that i spent two hours and i didn't get it to make a single beep <laughs> but i think it's been great um even if it's not a tutorial you know following the videos more or less and because the code is available it should be you you can get an idea what, you, what it takes to make a game for those i think and yeah that's going to be all for today um i still have other projects that i'm working on but i think i'm going to finish this one well finished make the release and then perhaps we will continue um with the i am actually looking forward to to continue with the haskell game i'm missing writing 57 days all without updating dependencies i kind of miss this one really Oh, does it work? Ah, okay. Kind of miss this one. Like, it plays so nice compared with the one in DOS. As in smooth. Anyway. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to finish this one as well. Um, and I have another project for the Specky. For, it's a 48k game that is very advanced and so there are chances that i can finish that this year i think i want to finish it this year i have the design for the puzzles and a lot of code and it's going well but i got distracted with haskell and then with dos so anyway well thank you for the people joining the chat for the chat and yeah, it's been fun. Um, I guess, yeah, I mean, the game will be announced and I would I, I wouldn't mention it in Mastodon. Uh, and actually, I'm, I'm actually pretty rubbish promoting myself. Uh, I don't usually do it very well, but you know, my Mastodon is here. So it's very likely that I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah to announce the game when it's available. Um, and, and that's it. Thank you, everybody. See you next time. Bye bye.